This is Luke with a Gamer, and I'm going to show you where to find all the collectibles in Queen's Gate in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands is an FPS fantasy game. Sound strange? Well, it gets weirder. The game is a spin off of the Borderlands franchise, which refers to itself as a looter shooter, and it's well known for its sense of humour and unique take on the genre. With a number of open maps to explore and fantastical creatures to kill, there's no end to the fun. As you adventure, you'll come across a few special items, collectibles. They may provide experience, gold, buffs, or some combination. In this video, we're going to show you where to find all the collectibles in the Queen's Gate level. And just so you know, we won't be covering the lucky dice in this guide, as that was done in a separate video which you can find in the description. Instead, we'll be focusing on the other collectibles in the Queen's Gate area, which includes one ancient obelisk, one poetry page, one rune switch, three lore scrolls, and two lost marbles. So let's get started. So our first collectible is a lore scroll that can be found in the middle of Buttsville. It's tucked away inside a house as shown on the map on screen right now, so you just head inside, turn left, and it's right in front of you. Now we're going to head over to Honest Tower on the west side of the map where we can find a lore scroll and a marble both quite close to each other. The scroll is found pretty much directly in front of you, just run straight forward, climb up this ledge and you'll find it there. Once you've got that, turn right underneath these arches and then turn left and you'll come to this little room with a trap firing down the corridor. Make your way to the end and go to the left and you'll find a lost marble. The poetry page is found on the north side of the map by the entrance to Brighthoof. If you're looking directly at it, then just turn right and go all the way to the end by the side of this siege machine and you'll find it on top of a box. The other Lost Scroll and Lost Marble can be found on the eastern side of the map. If you head this way, eventually you'll come across a bridge. Cross over the bridge and the Lost Scroll will be on top of this stack of boxes here. The only reason you're not seeing it now is because I picked it up while I was filming all the lucky dice, not realising that I'd need to come back and grab that later. Once you've got that Lost Scroll, turn around and head through the rampant parts, holding on to the left side. Go all the way up to this ruined tower and you'll find the Lost Marble to the side of it. Moving on to the rune puzzle which can be found on the south side of Buttsville. You'll need to climb across a couple of rooftops to get up there, but it's not too tricky. Once you get up there and activate it, all the runes will pretty much line up in a straight line in front of you, so it's just a matter of jumping between a few rooftops to get there. As you can see I'm displaying the full route I took on screen and it's clearly quite easy to get all of these within the time limit and get yourself a nice little bit of loot. And finally we're on to the obelisk. You can't actually get to the obelisk until you've completed the story quest in Motion of the Ocean, which involves Torg blowing up the ocean. But once you've done that, you can find it on the southeastern side of the map. Once you activate it, it will spawn a swarm of goblins in various shapes and sizes to attack you. So just clear them out and you'll complete this obelisk. So thanks for watching and I hope this guide helped you out. And remember, there's another guide on where to find all of the lucky dice in Queen's Gate on the channel and in the description. And check out thegamer.com for more. Thank <laughs> you.